Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Roman. I'm the founder of Earth AI. Uh, we develop new technology for mineral exploration to get new discoveries. Um, so Greenfield's exploration is, is very costly. It takes a lot of time. There's a lot of logistics and people involved. And um, a lot of time. And I'm a really impatient person. And I don't think anybody else really wants to wait for, for, for such a long time and work so hard and wait so long. But I understand why this is a problem. People compare finding an ore body as to finding a needle in a haystack. But when you look at the, well, at the reality, at the data, a very small needle of gauge 19, you can fit around 78,000 needles in a haystack. So your, your chances are one in 78,000. But in terms of a regular size ore body, which is 100 by 500 meters, um, you can fit around 10 million of those in the Pilbara and 53 million in, in WA. So just a simple calculation, so that's, it's three orders of magnitude more complex problem than finding a needle in a hair stack. But then that's OK for a fully exposed ore body. What if, what if you're not looking for a needle, you're looking for only for a tip of a needle, or even worse, you're looking for a chemical signature of, of a needle in that haystack. Well, that becomes much, much harder. And that, that's why we're working on, on finding the signature, like a very localized, small a footprint of a, of a house signature to find that ore body. Because you see all these three ore, ore bodies, they're all the same size and the same value. And so here's our idea on um, how to simplify exploration, how to get from zero to an ore body much quicker in, in, in four steps. So number one is we got to be able to learn from all historical data, all the, everything that's available that's been done for, 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 for decades. And that's what we build with Earth AI. We are, we are like, like Robin Hood. We are learning in data-rich areas and predict to data-poor areas. I'll, I'll show you two case studies really quickly. Uh, they based on lithium and cobalt projects. One is Marin Marin Mine in WA, and the other one is Wujina Mine in, in the Pilbara. First thing we do is called an unsupervised geology map that utilizes all the available geological layers of data, um, and unbiased, uh, and summarize all of that into, into a map that it's a surface geology map. So it maps regoliths, maps, maps ore bo map, bodies, yeah, maps uh, outcrops, but really precisely. And you make really, really con concrete, precise correlations between the, the, the rock types. The second is when I, what I said about Robin Hood. So if you have, the, if you have your tenements over here, like over the mine, there is nothing, there's no data in the public domain for it. Nothing. There is a bit around, but not that much. Not really helping you from the public domain to find the actual ore body, where to look for it. But in the whole state, there's a lot of data. In the, like, there are some very data-rich regions. So Earth AI can learn on that and learn that signature that associated with high cobalt ore bodies and predict to your area. And the result of our predictions is, is highlighting the, 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 the stockpile, highlights a couple of open pits, and generates a lot of other expression targets, which have the similar signature, but necessarily, not necessarily have been discovered before. This is Wojina mine example for lithium in Pilbara. Again, in the public domain, you have only 1,800 samples. They're mainly old stream sediment data. But in the whole WA, you have 600,000 samples you can, you can train on, it's just based on, on, on the geochemical data. Sorry. And in that area, with our previous calculation, you can fit 26,000 ore bodies, fully exposed. And these are our predictions. So we show th the, the red points there, directly which locations have this most similar data signature to high lithium samples across WA. The next stage, once you have the prediction, you have to go and check it. And you don't want to, like I read the book before, um, like not, not long ago, um, you have to fire bullets first, then you fire cannonballs. Don't, don't waste too much money just checking the early stage targets. So 
our vision of it is, is a very mobile two-person crew. We have this operation set up permanently, so we have rotating two-people crews. The, the camp has full facilities, and then they can drive and check, um, check out targets anywhere. And they have a portable XRF, which gives them instant data. They have satellite internet connection, which transfers the data instantly to, like, to the office daily, pretty much. And then we, we recompute the analysis. We do the analysis every time to improve the, the quality of our predictions so the system can learn and improve over time. The next two stages is what we call Earth AI Underground. That's our new research and development initiative. Once we have found the, like a soil anomaly or a rock chip anomaly that's on the surface, we want to find the source of that anomaly. It's, it's a similar principle, but for finding the source of the anomalies underground. And then, then, then it's drilling. So we think from, from zero to drilling, using our workflow, in reality, we can get in five weeks on, on, on the new area. And we are doing constant operations in Northern Territory. That's, that's where we train an all Australian database from data rich areas predicting to Northern Territory, which is historically underexplored. And, but for us, it doesn't really make any difference. And we simplified our access to our analysis. So before that, you had to do a software subscription and our SAS pro, uh, SAS to our SAS platform. But now you can just do a once-off tenement assessment. You, it's a simple form, and it's going to be done in a week. So you get our predictions to you in a week from, from being ordered. So, Thanks a lot for your attention, and um, if you're interested in partnering with us, please email me or talk to us at our booth just in that quarter. Thank you.